Have you ever contemplated the length some creatures will go to survive and thrive? Today, we delve into one such spectacular display of resilience and instinct, the wildebeest migration. This isn't just a simple journey, oh no, this is a monumental feat, an expedition of epic proportions, a testament to the instinctual drive to survive and multiply. Each year, over one and a half million wildebeest embark on this perilous journey across the wild plains of East Africa in search of greener pastures. Imagine, if you will, a sea of black dots stretching across the horizon, the ground trembling beneath the weight of countless hooves, a sight that leaves you in awe of nature's grandeur. But what compels these creatures to leave their homes and embark on such a challenging trek? The answer lies in the basic necessities of life, food, and reproduction. The wildebeests are driven by an instinctive need to find fresh grazing lands and water. Their journey, dictated by the patterns of rainfall, leads them to greener pastures. It's a primal instinct, a call from nature that cannot be ignored. This great migration isn't just about survival, it's also about continuity. Breeding is an integral part of this journey. The wildebeests mate in a synchronized manner, resulting in over half a million calves being born around the same time each year. This mass birthing event is a strategy for survival, as predators cannot possibly catch all the newborns. The wildebeest migration is a spectacle of nature, a display of survival instinct at its finest. It's a story of life and death, of courage and endurance, of the relentless pursuit for survival. This is the rhythm of the wild, the pulse of the African savanna. Thus begins the epic journey of survival, a dance with death in the wild plains of East Africa. What would you risk for the promise of a better life? It's a question that echoes through the vast plains of East Africa, where the wildebeests undertake their perilous journey. And perilous it is indeed, fraught with challenges that test the mettle of even the most resilient creatures. Imagine, if you will, a landscape teeming with predators, each more formidable than the last. Lions the kings of the jungle lie in wait, their golden eyes fixed on the moving sea of wildebeests. They are not the only ones. Crocodiles the age-old guardians of the rivers, lurk beneath the murky waters, biding their time. Hyenas too skulk in the shadows, their laughter echoing ominously in the night. Yet the wildebeests do not falter, they do not turn back. Theirs is a journey born of necessity, a trek undertaken in the name of survival. They are resilient these creatures, their spirits unyielding in the face of danger. They face their fears, confront their adversaries and brave the odds, their eyes always on the horizon. But what drives them to take such risks? What fuels their determination? The answer lies in the promise of a better life. A life of plenty, where the grass is greener, the waters fresher, and the threat of starvation a distant memory. This promise, this hope, is what propels them forward, even when the path ahead is fraught with danger. And so they press on. With each step they move closer to their destination, their hope unwavering. They navigate the vast savanna, brave the treacherous rivers and face the predators that lurk in their path. They endure, they survive, they thrive. In this journey, they teach us a lesson in resilience, a testament to the power of hope and the will to survive. They remind us that sometimes the most dangerous journeys are the ones worth taking, the ones that lead us to a better life. In the face of danger they press on, driven by an instinct as old as life itself. Can you imagine a hurdle so fearsome, yet the only path to a promised land? Picture this, a river, not just any river, but a raging torrent of water, danger lurking beneath its surface, a hurdle between the wildebeest and their destination. This is the river crossing, the most perilous part of the migration. The river crossing is no ordinary obstacle. It's a test of courage, a test of endurance, a test of survival. For beneath the seemingly serene surface, deadly threats lie in wait. The river is home to one of the most fearsome creatures on the planet, the crocodile. Masters of stealth, they silently stalk their prey, their eyes barely above the waterline, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. And when they do, it's swift, it's brutal, it's deadly. But crocodiles aren't the only threat. The river itself is a formidable adversary. Its currents are treacherous, its depth deceptive. It can sweep the strongest of wildebeest off their feet, carry them downstream, away from the safety of the herd. It's a place where even the strongest swimmers can find themselves struggling against the relentless pull of the river. Yet, despite these dangers, the wildebeest don't turn back. They can't. For them, this river crossing is a necessary evil, a hurdle they must overcome in their quest for survival. They gather at the riverbank, tens of thousands of them, their eyes fixed on the other side, 
on the lush green pastures that lie beyond. And then, they take the plunge. One by one, they leap into the water, their bodies carried by the current, their hearts beating with fear and anticipation. It's a sight that's both terrifying and awe-inspiring, a testament to the sheer will and determination of these incredible creatures. Against all odds they brave the waters, their eyes set on the lush green pastures that lie beyond. For the wildebeests, the river crossing is more than just a physical journey. It's a symbol of their resilience, their determination, their unyielding spirit in the face of adversity. It's a testament to the power of life, to the instinct for survival that drives all creatures great and small. Ever wondered about the circle of life, the delicate balance that nature maintains? In the wild tapestry of the Serengeti, the wildebeest migration is a vital thread. It's not just a spectacle of survival but a phenomenon that fuels the entire ecosystem. The wildebeest in their multitudes cultivate the land as they tread upon it. Their hooves aerate the soil encouraging new growth. As they graze they consume older vegetation making way for fresh sprouts. But it's not just about what they take, it's also about what they leave behind. Their droppings fertilize the soil, enriching it with nutrients and promoting a lush landscape that supports countless other species. But the impact of the wildebeest extends beyond the grasslands. Their migration shapes the lives of predators and scavengers alike. For the lions, cheetahs and hyenas, the arrival of the wildebeest is like an annual feast, an opportunity to hunt in abundance. The migration ensures their survival and in turn keeps the predator population in check. Then there are the scavengers, the vultures, marabou storks, and hyenas that clean up after the predators. They play a critical role in the circle of life, preventing the spread of diseases by consuming the remains left behind. The wildebeest migration provides a consistent food source for these scavengers, enabling them to thrive. Beyond the predators and scavengers, the wildebeest migration also benefits the smaller animals. The insects that feed on the droppings, the birds that pick off the insects, and the smaller mammals that thrive in the rejuvenated grasslands, all are part of this intricate web of life that the wildebeest migration supports. In its essence, the wildebeest migration is more than just a journey of survival. It's a dance of interdependence, a testament to the interconnectedness of all life forms. Their journey is not just a struggle for survival but a vital cog in the wheel of life. What does it mean to survive, to reach the end of such an incredible journey? As the dust settles and the thundering hooves grow silent, the wildebeest find themselves at the end of their epic migration. This is the season of abundance. The once weary travelers are now feasting on the lush green pastures their bodies regaining strength after the arduous trek. But the end is also a beginning. It's the time of new life. The air is filled with the innocent bleats of newborn calves. These little ones, fragile yet resilient, symbolize the continuity of life, the promise of the future. Their first steps echo the millions taken by their parents, marking the beginning of their own journey. And so, the cycle continues. A testament to nature's unending rhythm, the wildebeest's indomitable spirit. Their journey, fraught with danger and uncertainty, is a testament to life's indomitable will to survive, to thrive against all odds. Isn't it fascinating how the wildebeest migration illustrates the relentless struggle and beauty of life? We've journeyed together through the vast plains of East Africa, witnessing the wildebeest's unyielding determination and endurance. We've seen them take on the treacherous trek, brace the perilous river crossing and in the end complete a full circle of life. This awe-inspiring phenomenon serves as a stark reminder of our interconnectedness with nature. We, as inhabitants of this planet, hold a responsibility to ensure that these majestic spectacles continue to exist. It's upon us to uphold nature preservation, to safeguard these creatures and their habitats. The wildebeest migration is not merely a journey, it's a testament to the indomitable spirit of life itself, a narrative that constantly unfolds and renews, and there are countless more stories waiting to be told in the grand tapestry of the natural world. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing stories from the natural world. Until next time, keep exploring, keep wondering,